Hey guys, what's going on? James here, Jimmy Screens, Mr. Chiller. Guess y'all can guess what that might be. That's the LED. And if you see, there's 55 lenses. So, I had a few people that seemed pretty anxious about getting these LED lenses in on this fixture so that's exactly what we are going to do first thing we're going to do is get these clasps off of here really tight clasps I'll give them that that's one good thing about you want strong good hanging material on any light and these definitely have that. Remember I got this light for 158 on eBay from Top LED. So it's pretty awesome. Alright, now according to the company, all you have to do is I want to see if these things come off. I don't think they I don't know if they do or not. If they do it, it'll probably make it a little bit easier. No, it really doesn't. Alright, now I was going to see if it makes for room, but apparently not. Well, I have to fix that knob now as far as where it's located at. Not a big deal. Alright, so anyways. First things first, I'll flip it upside down. Obviously, it's going to be on top of the knobs which I was kind of wanting to avoid but I can't so first thing we're going to do is take all the screws out I figured you guys were anxious to see it so I'll let you guys share the experience with me putting these suckers in so that's what we're going to do it's Hopefully it won't take us very long to do it. I to stand up to get these other ones here real quick. I'm hoping that this thing just slips up and makes life really easy. I just cut through that piece of paper. Watch, that's probably the thing that voids your warranty. <laughs> Well, they know I ordered it from them, so we'll see. Well, that slipped down really easy, so I guess it could probably slip up just as easy. We'll see how this works. I don't know why I have a nubby screwdriver, but whatever. Or stubby, as they say. Hope everybody's having a good week so far. I know it's a nice short week. I'm sure that makes everybody happy. It's now Wednesday morning, about 10 to 2 in the morning. I just got this burr up my butt to go ahead and get this thing done. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get it done. Let's see how well this cover slips off. And what it is that we're going to be dealing with here. Okay. A little more work than anticipated. But it is what it is. Alright. First thing is first. Got to do some unplugging. What do we? You know what? I don't think we have to do some unplugging. Let's just try this. Hopefully my screwdriver is big enough. Or I should say small enough. To do this. And you know what, we're going to have to unplug because 
There's no way I'm going to be able to get this cover off without, well not off, but on, without uh, having issues. I think it's nice and compact in here, I'm with that. Got to kind of like glue together here on the plug point. Probably just because they didn't want nothing to come loose. Oh. Yeah, no cold wires, that's for sure. I'm going to cut them two little zip ties in here. Without cutting the wire. Alright, so it's a little more of a project than I expected, but we'll get through it, guys. No problem. I'm going to set this guy aside. Alright, now we got to take the screws out of this. It's got six screws inside here. Like little, like fabric washers glued down, which is good. Nice aluminum sheet that everything is apparently mounted to. Now my question is, once these things are down, it's going to be interesting. Slipping this thing on. Curious to see how this is gonna work. Just keep the screws a little bit separate here. I really don't think I have allergies, but I don't know where I've been sniffling and sneezing lately, making me wonder if it's eventually catching up to me. I don't know, we have really good weather, so who knows. <laughs> Feel like they actually kind of walk onto the actual LED enough to where it'll hold it in place, which is pretty awesome. If you don't hold them in place, that'll just make things so much easier. The only thing I was worried about was the actual depth 
of the outer lens versus where this thing was actually mounted. So I'm kind of curious how that's going to work. But the way they make these fixtures, they make them to where you either want the lenses or you don't. But when I had actually done the purchase, I didn't see an option to choose lenses because I probably would have went ahead and chose the lenses. And that would have kind of helped me avoid doing this. But in the same sense, doing this, at least I have the option of putting them on and taking them off because I don't know if they actually glue them down or not. And the way the lady was talking on the phone, it wasn't seeming like that was the case. She said you just open it up, put them on, and that's it. So, let's find out if that's the actual case. That would be just totally awesome. So far it's pretty easy. All you're doing is making sure that that slot right there, let me show you. See how it's slotted right there? The width going here to here. That's the solder point and that's the solder point. So you just got to make sure it's over the actual solder point. In this case, it's left to right from where I'm at. So, and of course, don't touch the actual lens, if at all possible on the face. <clears throat> Bet you guys never thought you'd be watching this happen, huh? But I think we got this going pretty quick. So if all goes well, this should be a pretty simple fix. We will soon see. 